Howdy y'all. I'm Sarah Barkas or Mickey. Some folks call me Mickey. And I'm an artist and illustrator in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm here to talk a little bit about my work and show you some work and what I've been working on this past month. So here we go. So in 1984, I was born in San Antonio, Texas. And I grew up in 2003, I started working with um, other local artists at a place called the Silos, which are no longer there, but they were part of the Blue Star Arts Complex. And that was an awesome experience. Lots of collaboration and cool stuff went on there. And I think it really shaped me in a lot of ways. And so then in 2006, I was diagnosed with PTSD and I had a lot of anxiety and something called agoraphobia, which is where you can't leave the house, you can't be around too many people, you get too anxious. And so then that kind of really shaped where my work went and in December of 2006, I had my first solo show called Memories, Remedies, and Nightmares. And that was at Flight Gallery. Um, so I did a lot of work that focused on anxiety and coping with anxiety and like that whole process of coming to terms with things. And that's what that series was. And there's a whole lot more to my story, but you know, we won't do all of that. So in 2011, I became a mama and now I have two boys and they are a very important part of my life. So here are some of the things that I do. I sometimes do murals. I sometimes work with other kinds of materials and make things that I sometimes call woolies because I use a lot of wool. That's a, it's a fabric origami peng, penguin. I almost said pangolin. And I like to print stuff. Like with, I do a lot of uh, linoleum cutting and then I'll come in and illustrate on top of them sometimes. There's uh, some cicadas and a roly-poly that I did. The roly-poly I did in December. I do a lot of illustration. Some of y'all know what this is like, huh? Yeah? I mean, not currently. I don't miss the backpack struggle, man. It was real. So I do a lot of illustration. And these two are from a series that's going to be a book. It's called A Collective of Bestiaries. Bestiaries are um, like animal group names. So I'm excited to be working on that as the other one because it's really cool with birds. The name for a group of birds depends on where the birds are. So that's neat. I've been doing a series called Illustrated Choreographies, which is exactly as it sounds. This is the one I did for, it's a scene from a Fred Astaire musical called Royal Wedding. It's pretty cool. And then the next and the last one's over here. Sorry, I'm wobbly. Are from a series called, um, I mean, a coloring book called Auditorial San Antonio. And the print of the map is being worked on, but it's a series of illustrations of famous haunted spots in San Antonio. And that was a really fun project to work on. Some other random stuff. Okay, 
So this project is something that I started recently. It's called Green Ice Cream. And it's on Instagram. It's called Green Ice Cream on Instagram. But they're just small little like anxiety, coping, stress management kind of comic posts. And so that's something I started doing because right now I'm really trying to, like one of my mantras at the moment is spread the calm because there's a lot going on. And I think it's important that people have access to ways to deal with that. And I have a lot of experience. So this is another piece from that series, Illustrated Choreographies. This is, if you can read the title up there, uh, it's from the music video for The Greatest by Sia, which is just, it's fun to watch her videos because they're always super cool. So I also do larger works and painting. This is a piece from a recent show we did at Ihole called, um, well, it was about Princess Bride. So that one's a lot like the, it's kind of half in the Illustrated Choreographies series, half not. This is a piece from a series, like an ongoing series called um, Temporal Dichotomy, which is about a lot of different stuff. And that's another one from Temporal Dichotomy. And now I'll use this little painting thing so you can see the whole thing. It's very tall. Um, so I have two series that I'm, that are like ongoing, potentially indefinitely, called Temporal Dichotomies. And the other one is There is Hope in This World, which I'll probably be revisiting a lot. Um, this is another series that I'm working on, and I'm working on like um, an editorial about um, like The Handmaid's Tale as it relates to trauma survival, which I think is super interesting every time, like every time I watch a new episode, it's like, oh my gosh like the ways they handle it, like in all the little subtle ways are really cool. So I'm working on something there. And these are um, at the gallery we did, we came up with like 20 illustration prompts that we were calling isolation illustrations. Um, so these are just some of my drawings from that. I'm almost finishing that up but people are welcome to join in whenever, just something to stay motivated, work on different stuff. So that's it. I kind of did a giant spiral around my studio for you. Um, I am blessed enough to be able to work from home regularly. Um, see this piece right here, the this one? This is by a San Antonio artist named Bear Bellamy. He's fantastic. It's my MRI scan. Uh, that one up there is Ryan Walker. He is also fantastic. I will make sure to tag both of those artists in the comments. I've got a little collection of stuff up there. You know, I don't know, y'all might find my random stuff interesting. There's, there's narrator me. I wish I could be narrator me all the time, honestly. Robot goggles, very useful. Okay, that, that guy over there, made by an artist named Miss Monster. I hope she still goes by that. I bought that bad boy back in like 2004. So yeah, that's it. Glad you could join me. Have a nice day.